My name is Tristan Bodel. I am a Spanish teacher here at Redwood High School. I've been working in this district for over 20 years and uh, working with Amigos as well. I'm also an Amigos alum. I was a volunteer in Ecuador back in the mid 80s. My name is Ana Alcina and I teach Spanish at Redwood High School in California. And so I've heard a lot about Amigos and how powerful and impactful it can be. Then I also have students who have been in Amigos and colleagues at school who did Amigos and every time I talk to someone who did Amigos, I feel it changed their life in a positive way. So my name is Jake Kaplow and I work at La Escuela uh, International School in San Francisco. And I did Amigos um, in 2006. I was in high school and I went to Honduras. I think in thinking about how Amigos has stayed with me, I desire to continue to study and practice Spanish um, has been there from you know, the moment I went on this trip and, and realized the power of having a second language. I think ever since I've been a Spanish teacher, I've welcomed Amigos into my classroom to do presentations. It's a program that I believe in, and it's always really exciting when I have students choose to participate, and I've loved the presentations that they do. Um, makes kids excited about service and travel opportunities and using their Spanish in a real life situation. As I learned about the program, I, I realized that it was about so much more, that it's about coming into a small community and becoming immersed in that community. Take that learning uh, and everything that you, that you did there and bring it back to your home, to your friends, to your family, and tell them about the experience because that is a lot of where the growth happens is once you, once you return. Amigos, I think, is has been around for so long. It's really well organized, it's really well run, and there's training beforehand so kids learn about cultural norms and what to expect. So when the kids arrive, they're much more prepared and ready to tackle the challenges in front of them. In many different ways, it's a really powerful way of learning a language. It helps them so much in their ability to use the language and the way they understand the culture of this country they are in. For a family that is thinking about Amigos and needs some reassurance, I would say. I think it's a great way to spend your summer. I think Amigos really is the whole package. And if I had a kid that was a teenager, I would love for him or her to go to one of these programs and live with a host family, get to know how other people live, get to have the experience of living in a culture that is not their own. And to be open to the idea that students taking risks and getting out of their comfort zone is ultimately more impactful, more meaningful than to stay in your comfort zone and, and to avoid taking risks. They will definitely mature through the experience, their language will improve, their knowledge of the world and other cultures will improve, they'll make friends for life, they'll come back more confident and eager to use their language and pursue additional learning from high school and beyond. So I think it's definitely something people should consider.